So say, Geronimo. Say, Geronimo. Bruh. Barbie came through again, okay? She stays coming through. She had her yearly makeup tutorial that she does. I saw it and I see it. That means I have to be it. You see it, you be it. That's me with Barbie. Technically, it's a Halloween makeup tutorial, but I think this look would look good all year long. I kind of skimmed through the tutorial. I have to do that for these because you kind of have to like know what to expect and know what supplies you need. This one, this one. Bruh. Just something seems a little bit different about it. Not in a good way for me who's trying to follow it. Like I have never been more confused in my life. I get confused pretty easily. So this is her Forest Fairy Halloween makeup tutorial, Barbie Vlogs at Barbie. When they at themselves, same. Basically by the end of this, I want to look exactly like Tinkerbell. The smell of fall. Halloween is in the air. Halloween is in the air. I I feel like it's still lingering in the air, so. And you know what that means. It's time for my annual Halloween makeup tutorial. Halloween! So, so I've been thinking and thinking about what I want to be. A unicorn. Mummy. Wombat. Wombat. Oh, wasn't that her favorite animal? But lately, I've, I've really been into trees. My family okay, always... me. You know what? I used to like animals. And like wombats but now I like trees you don't have to feed them you don't have to interact with them you don't have to train them they don't poop in your backyard I like trees my family and I just went up to Yosemite and they have the most amazing forests magical I imagined I saw fairies. That whole thing up until that makes you think, oh, she's gonna be a tree, that'll be fun. No, she's like, I went to one of the most beautiful national parks in the country, but it would have been better with fairies. Fairies really would have upped their game. Yosemite, call them up, call them up. They'll do it for you, Barbs. That inspired me to be a forest fairy. Did you know that trees are the oldest living organisms on the planet? It's true. On the planet. I did, I it's did. True. It's, it's not true. worth protecting? There is a tree in California named Methuselah, and they say it is 4,000. 800 years old. And still living. So, yeah. If I That's how I feel. Me after I turn 20 on TikTok. <laughs> Teens when they see people over the age of 20 on TikTok. They're still living. Girl. So I'm gonna teach you how to be a forest fairy. The key is having a lot of different colors and shades of green makeup. Should I have put on a green shirt? Let me go see if I can find a green shirt really quick. And I'm not wearing my basketball sweatpants. I am not. This is much better. Step one, primer. First, you need to put a primer on the top lid of your eyes and also the bottom, like this. Like this. She says like this and it's not even showing like this. Step two. Spoiler alert, her face is not shown in this entire tutorial. It is only this little drawing with no actual colors. Okay, so I have this NYX um, eyeshadow base. You know what I need? A paper towel. Just all over the lid. This is to kind of make the color, you know, pop. I'm not using color pop, but this is just to make the color space pop. And then they said underneath. See the difference? 
So now it's just kind of white around my eyes. Why does that just look like a regular concealer? Just on me. Step two, white eye crayon. Then take the fat white eye crayon and apply it to the inner corners of your eyelids. Take the fat white eye. Ooh. Tell me what exactly she's doing. If you're looking at this picture, tell me what exactly. Hello? Hello? Fat white marker. I just threw away a bunch of my makeup like a few days ago. The expired makeup. And um, I think I threw it away. I have this white pencil, just like a regular white pencil. So I guess I'll just use this. Inner core. Why does this kind of look cool? Like I look Snow Angel Princess makeup, maybe? No. Light green crayon on rest of lid. Then take the light green eye pencil and apply it to the rest of your eyelid and also under your lower lashes. Using your finger to blend it all together like this. Like this. <laughs> We can't see like that. Rest of lid. We're gonna have to figure out what color exactly we're gonna use for this because I have different greens here, but the only eye pencil that I could find that was green is just like a regular green. Let's start with this eyeshadow, this like light green shadow right here. And we'll see how that works. Yeah, maybe with these two mixed together. I'm using kind of like a darker green too. <gasps> Went down the wrong pipe. Kind of sicking. Gold shadow on inner corner of eye. I gently apply the gold eyeshadow on the top of the white and under the eyelashes. And also gently blend it all the way up. Gold eyeshadow on the top of the white. Um, gold. Yes, so golden. She's different. I have never seen this brush in my life. Where did this brush come from? I promise you, I have never seen this brush in my life. It's a triangle. Was it cut? Kind of spooky. Yes, so golden. We love glitter just going straight into my eyeball. Can y'all see the glitter? Oh, it's gold. You're so golden. You're so golden. Step five, light green shadow. And then apply a really bright light green shadow on the rest of the eyelid and under the lash line on the outer corner of the eye. So you do it again. I'm gonna try this in the middle to, with just the brush that came with it because why not kind of cool okay mary kate and ashley i used to always go like because of mary kate and ashley i still do it because of them step six black eyeshadow next take your black eyeshadow and then apply it along the crease of your eye just halfway and blend it in. Okay. This already has black on it. I mean, not bad. <gasps> kind of iconic. Go. Step seven. Another light green shade shadow. I found blending another light shade of green over a darker shadow really gave it a great texture. Over a darker shadow really gave it a great texture. Hopefully you know and you can understand by now why I was so confused. Like what shades like of green? If you're saying a lighter shade of green, a light shade you're of saying green, you mean the same lighter or, shade of green? You said you before. mean a darker shade than one before, but it's also like... Then take this light green and apply it under your eye and out onto your cheeks. This is the real fairy look. She's going down, going down, down. This looks like a euphoria look. Like this looks like it should be on euphoria. 
The amount of splotchiness though, like that's what's really concerning me at this point. Step nine, sparkles. 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 Then take, then take your face sparkle. I'm using green and gently sprinkle and blend into your cheeks. And I just use a Wait. I saw our finished product for half a second. Well, not really because there's glitter in my eyeballs, so. So I have some light green sparkles. I think this will really put it all together, hopefully, and kind of help it. Barbie, you could have just said euphoria look and we would have been okay with it. Like, iconic. Anything mediocre is iconic in my book. And I just use a simple, clear pink lip gloss for my lips, and I'm done. What do you think? Okay, I see her finished look, and it looks completely different from mine. Completely different. I'm just doing my own thing at this point. I'm just like, we're going to do the Euphoria vibes, and we're going to go in with it. It looks like she has quite a bit of blush on, which she did not mention to us. She mentioned it to me, at least. And this is pretty much the same color as hers, actually. We're just gonna do e-girl, euphoria, just all of them mixed together in one. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. See, she's probably already done all this, but she just didn't tell us. She's keeping this from us. She's keeping the eyeliner hacks. She's keeping the eyeliner away from us, okay? She knows. That we would be too powerful with her eyeliner hacks. I think I'm honestly just going to put on some gloss and we'll call it a day. Ew. Looks like space buns pretty much. That's what I call it. <sighs> Didn't know fairies were from space. <laughs> I think I'm back in 2013. Oh no. We've time traveled back to 2013. All right. Oh, we didn't finish her video. Oh, where's my flute? Fairies are always playing flutes and trees in enchanted forests, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Oh, I love sharing my Halloween. I love sharing my Halloween costume with you every year. I can't wait to see what you do. Happy Halloween, happy fall. Peace. 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 She said she couldn't wait to see what I would do. Girl, I'm so sorry I let you down. Let me give you an up close look at what we're working with. So you can kind of see the glitter. This looks more like the, like a space alien girl thing. Fairies are real. And I'm an example of that. We're on another planet. Wee woo.